So the formula for a volume of a prism is a cross-sectional area times the length. Um, so here we've got quite a weird shape. We've got a compound shape, which means it's made up of two shapes put together, or two rectangles. It doesn't really matter how you split these up. I'm going to split it up by a line down here. But if you went the other way, so you could have gone down here, and that would have been absolutely fine too. But I'm just going to go across. So um, rectangle A and rectangle B. So area of rectangle A, well we know, uh, well we don't know anything about it, we don't know the height or the width, so let's have a look at the width, the total is 19, the bit we don't want is 14, so what have we got left over, well we've got 5 left over, so that's going to be 5 centimetres. Um, going the other way, the total height is 28, the bit we don't want is 21, so therefore we've got 7 left over. So the area is going to be 5 times 7, which is 35. And area of B, uh, I think this is labelled, so it's 19 across and 21 up. So I use my calculator, 19 times 21, which is 399. So the cross-sectional area is those two added together. So 35 plus 399, which is 434. Okay, so the volume is the cross-sectional area, which is 434, times how 3D it is, this length here, so times it by 10. So that's going to be 4340 centimetres cubed.